spend a few days with me resting, homemaking, and marveling at the beauty of life. Hello everyone, Jennifer here and welcome back to The Daily Connoisseur. I'm packing my bags for a much needed weekend away at the resort at Pelican Hill. My aunt and uncle treated us nieces to a beautiful and relaxing few days at the resort. So it was essentially a girl's trip, except for my uncle. (laughs) Here's a tour of our four bedroom villa. The resort at Pelican Hill sits on 504 acres of natural landscape in Newport Beach, California. It has Italian-style architecture and has breathtaking views of the golf course and ocean. It's been a long time since I've been away from home and my responsibilities there, so my system took a while to adjust because I'm such a creature of habit and routine. It felt like such a release to be able to fully rest and put aside my daily cares. wonderful to catch up with my family as a period of healing. I like what Thomas Carlyle said about rest. He said, rest is a fine medicine. Let your stomachs rest, ye dyspeptics. Let your brain rest, you wearied and worried men of business. Let your limbs rest, ye children of toil. In centuries past, doctors would often prescribe a rest cure for people who needed to heal and recover from a difficult season or illness. The change of scenery is good for one's soul. I felt that deeply this weekend, and it was good to create more memories with my family. My aunt and uncle said they wanted to make this an annual trip. I sure hope so. Before we go any further, I wanted to share something with you. I have an exciting announcement coming up with Victoria Magazine. I can't mention what it is yet, but in anticipation of that announcement, I invite you to subscribe to their beautiful magazine. So I'll leave the link down below. I know I'm being mysterious here, but you know I love an air of mystery. I've been trying to go slow and take care of myself a bit more lately. That includes that ever crucial morning exercise routine, a time to breathe deeply, stretch and move my body. I'm not a hardcore exercise person, (laughs) you know me, but I would say I am more intuitive with exercising. When I wake up, my body usually tells me what it needs. Often stretching is required stretching and deep breathing. I repeat a lot of the exercises I love because just like with eating, exercise has to be pleasurable for me. I always end my routine on the rebounder. 
It gives me energy and vitality for the day and makes me feel youthful and vibrant. It's evening time and I'm making pumpkin overnight oats for my breakfast tomorrow. In a mason jar, I add some whole fat Greek yogurt, some unsweetened vanilla almond milk, a half cup of oats, a tablespoon of chia seeds, a large spoonful of pureed pumpkin, some pumpkin pie spice, and maple syrup. I mix this all together and cover it up and put it in the refrigerator overnight. The next morning, I spoon out the overnight oats into a footed dessert bowl and top with a Netsola vanilla almond superfood mix and some raspberries. This breakfast is decadent and delicious and tastes like dessert. I'm having it with some black bergamot tea and sneaking in some of Emily Dickinson's letters on this crisp fall morning. It's a new day and I'm getting some homemaking done. I was listening to a lecture by Dr. Christopher Perrin recently on the concept of scolé or restful learning. I really love this concept so let me tell you about it while I do some chores around the house. Scolé is the Greek word for leisure, but in this case leisure does not have the definition that we are used to in modern times. When I think of leisure, I think of vacations like Pelican Hill, or hobbies, or hanging out with friends and family. But no, this had more specific meaning to the Greeks, and that was restful learning that comes from conversation, discussion, and reflection among friends. That's a whole rabbit hole to go down with regard to education, but you know, I like to apply unconventional tactics to homemaking, so as part of my self-care, and as an antidote to my often stressed and frazzled get everything done homemaking, <laughs> I'm applying the leisurely concept of scolé to my daily chores. This is how it's transpiring for me, through, again, are you noticing a pattern here? Deep breathing, being in the present moment, and moving slowly, not rushing, appreciating the beautiful in my home and in the way I can express myself. It's also there with the media I take in, whether I'm listening to music or an audiobook. It's making it a whole experience. I feel rested when I approach homemaking in this way. I hope that this concept helps you too. If you would like me to explore this more with you, it would be my pleasure. 
Before I go, I would like to invite you to subscribe to my author newsletter. It's absolutely free. You can sign up by entering your email at the top left-hand corner of my website, jenniferlscott.com. I send out one newsletter a month, and it's a great way to keep in touch with me. Also, don't forget the Victoria Magazine subscription. I'll leave that down below too. Thank you for watching my video today. I appreciate you greatly, and I'll see you soon. Love, Jennifer. Thank you.